This is Jesus Manuel Mena Garza. I hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at. In this edition of RV and Travel Adventure, I'm going to be talking about tripods and photography uh, on the road as you're traveling about. Tripods are very important. Uh, they support your camera, especially if you're taking long exposures or if you want that smooth pan uh, when you're shooting video. Uh, tripods are very important, even though some of the latest cameras, action cameras, phones, uh, cameras uh, in general uh, have image stabilization or IBIS uh, so you know they will smooth out a lot of the stuff so tripods still are very important if you're gonna take a long exposure or just want that super super velvety smooth pan it's very important okay or if you're gonna shoot yourself you want your camera put the tripod right there and you want to videotape you or take a photograph of you of your family, a group, or any situation, and you want to uh, use a remote or press a timer and you got yourself in the action, okay? So tripods are still very, very important. But first, let's talk about a monopod. I've had this monopod for a while. It's a Compact Extreme by Manfrotto. It's very light, but it's also very solid. It has a handle, a rubber, rubberized handle, handle, and a little pad here so you can use it as a mm, uh, monopod. You can put your camera here, a small camera, and extend it out and you can take photographs. You can have a little bit of extra support. Or you can flip this around, this little thing right here that you don't want to lose. And uh, this uh, now uh, becomes an extension. You know, you can have a go out and you can want you want to photograph that thing far away or do a selfie, etc. etc. So this is the Manfrotto Compact Extreme. I had it for quite a while. Very sturdy. It's probably the most sturdy uh, you know little uh, selfie stick slash monopod that you can get right now on the market. Highly recommended. I'm currently planning a trip to uh, Europe for next summer and I'm planning to take this tripod, not any of my other tripods. I have a lot of tripods. This is my, you know, basic $100 tripod by also by Manfrotto. It's called the um, 785B. It's a very nice little tripod. They have uh, newer iterations of it, but it's very lightweight. That's the only reason I want to take it with me to Europe. Uh, when I'm traveling from uh, Berlin to Paris, to Barcelona, Barcelona, that is said, and to Bruges, etc. Wherever places I want to go, you know, the, you know, Prague, you know, it's 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 not the best tripod, but it's very nice. So I can always place it in front of me. I'm going to be doing a lot of this traveling by myself. My wife's going to be staying in Berlin and doing some work. I'll be doing some traveling. I'll put it there, and I can talk to my little camera. And since I'm basically going to shoot most of my videos with my DJI Pocket Number 2, a very nice camera, I give it a good solid 7 on the 10 scale, 10 being perfect, almost perfect, nothing's perfect in this world, but this is a very nice light camera, and again, <laughs> this is more than enough to hold this, and when I'm doing, I'm interviewing myself, I have the camera here and I can just yammer incessantly about whatever I'm doing in Paris. Uh, Barcelona, Berlin, Bruges, uh, who knows where I'm going to be at, or maybe not be at, okay? So that's that tri uh, tripod and uh, camera combination. This is a, my uh, next step up, it's a little bit heavier. I, was, I would like to take this one, but it's a little too heavy, and after a while, uh, weight sort of slows you down. You don't want to be carrying all that stuff all the time, you're going, man, I wish I didn't bring that tripod. That's one of the negatives about a tripod. You know, it's you just rather leave it at home sometimes. You go, oh, that thing's heavy. I'm not gonna carry that. I'm not gonna climb the mountain and just to take five, ten photographs and carry that tripod. Unless you're a professional photographer, then you know I'm gonna take that tripod because I want to get the great photograph. Okay. So this one's metal, all metal. Again, this is a slim by Benro. Uh, it's a TSL08A. Very nice tripod. Again, it has a video head. A modest video. It's not a great video head. It's not a substantial video head. This is about a hundred and twenty-five dollar tripod. Typically, it sells at the camera stores, but it's solid as a rock. If you bought this, it'll last, you know, <laughs> for your lifetime. Let me talk about something I used. To, I bought about thirty-five years ago. 
This is my uh, slick tripod. It's a Pro 700DX. I've had this again for 30 plus years. I bought this in Santa Barbara uh, at Brooks Camera next to the Brook Institute of Photography and it's a very nice tripod. I replaced the three-way uh, friction head with a ball head uh, and I just unscrewed it and screwed this in its place. And I use it once in a great while. Uh, you know, I have so many tripods, they, a lot of them don't even get used anymore. But it has the usual ball head functions, functionality, and it's very nice and pretty solid. This tripod, again, it's lasted for 30 years and hasn't fallen apart, okay? You know, quality counts. <laughs> it does last, okay? It's going to outlive me. I'm going to give it to one of my grandkids here. And uh, hopefully they appreciate it. This is my current uh, favorite tripod. It is my uh, Benro Travel Angel Carbon Fiber FTA 29C. Uh, it's a carbon fiber tripod. As you can see, it's very compact. And uh, it used to have this ball head on it. A very nice ball head indeed, the, the Benro V1E. This is a $100 ball head, but it, I took that off and put on this uh, very nice fluid head, the Surui VH10X. And as you can see, it pans very nice and also has uh, friction so when you're taking photographs uh, you know stays in place and you can adjust you know from three two one zero you're panning and also you can just via friction your uh, tilt okay it uses the standard Arca Swiss plates like a lot of my tripods do again very nice very high quality solid metal solid carbon fiber no problem. This is all metal. This is carbon fiber plus metal connection. So it should last. Again, I should be able to give it to my grandkids if any of them are remotely interested in photography. <laughs> so I do like this. Uh, one of the benefits of uh, using a video fluid head for photography is if you have a... I have some friends that have some expensive cameras like $7,000, you know, like Nikon Z9s with gigantic 500 millimeter telephoto lens and they're shooting uh, the, you know the birds and the trees and the wildlife and the prairie and stuff like that and they travel quite a bit around the world and they you know if uh, if you used just do ball head and it just you just forget to tighten it up clunk there goes your uh, five thousand dollar telephoto lens expensive huh so but this one has a has a spring in there it doesn't want to let it go down and you can adjust it and you can have a really tight and it won't it will bear it'll never fall down even that five hundred dollar five thousand you know five hundred millimeter lens whatever price point it is there's different price points different qualities as you very well know but this is a very nice very nice tripod arca swiss plates this goes on and on and on so I hope you're doing fantastic. I'm talking about photography and you can check out, uh, by the way, you can get one of my uh, RBTA t-shirts. I have a links in the description. You can order one so you can uh, show everybody that you're an RVTA supporter, RV and travel adventures. Thank you very much. If you have the time, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Muchos, muchos gracias. I greatly appreciate this. Channel is growing slowly, but surely. I don't expect it to be millions upon millions of uh, subscribers. I'm happy pretty much where I'm at now and some modest growth. Thank you very much for subscribing. It's greatly, greatly appreciated. It's nice to know that I'm not just talking into a vacuum and only talking to myself. That would be pretty sad, wouldn't it? So again, uh, please uh, leave your kind and super friendly comments below. Alaho, I, I read your comments. I read them all pretty much 99.9%. .9%. Sometimes I see ones and I go, uh, I'm not gonna read that one. I, I appreciate your comments, suggestions, and ideas. Thank you very, very much. And if you have a chance, uh, especially if you have a little bit of cash uh, that's burning a hole in your pocket, check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash JMM Garza. I look forward to you participating in my Patreon program. Hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at. Hope you have a nice tripod. Again, the only tripod that you should, a good tripod is the one that you take with you. If you don't take that tr expensive tripod with you, it's, it doesn't do any good. So get the tripod that works and is lightweight enough for you to 
take with you on that hike and adventure, you know, that walk in downtown, if you're going to shoot some infrastructure, or you're going to shoot some wildlife, or you're going to shoot some landscapes, or you're just going to shoot your friends and yourself, take and buy the one that you can take with you. If it's just in the Leave it in the trunk of your car, leave it in the backpack in your car or RV. It doesn't do you <laughs> good. So that's why I'm taking uh, this little piece of, even though it's not the best one, at least I know I'll take it with me because it's so light. I can stick it in my backpack along with my chonies, my underwear, and a, some pants and a sandwich. And I'm pretty good. Okay, this one will fit in my backpack. It's lightweight enough that I'm not going to complain constantly and go, man. I should have never brought that tripod along. I should have never brought it along. It's too heavy. Again, thanks from Fort Worth, Texas. I'm in Fort Worth, Texas. It's hot, muy caliente. This, uh, in a few days here, just in a few days, I'm gonna be going to, uh, where am I going? I'm going to Guadalupe River State Park uh, near San Antonio. It should be a lot of fun. Don't forget to check out my adventures and my videos on RV and travel adventures. Muchas gracias. From Fort Worth, Texas, that's where I'm at. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.